happy spring and happy, happy crafter moon. moon. <laughs> so with spring right outside your door, it's after spring break, you will also be hearing the birds whistling, singing outside, because um, that's part of spring, right? So we thought it would be appropriate to do a bird craft. A so, rocking bird. Look at this guy, isn't he cute? <laughs> so here's what you'll need. All right, you're gonna need a small paper plate. You could make a large uh, bird if you'd like, if that's all you have at home. But There's all have, different sizes. Yeah, small <laughs> paper plates here. And Scissors. Yes, your favorite color marker. Um, or several colors if you want it to be a colorful bird. We have feathers um, that we're going to use, but if you don't have feathers, you can cut up strips of paper. Mm -hmm. You can use tissue paper. Absolutely. See, we said curling ribbon. You know, just look to see what kind of extra supplies you might have at home um, to make this guy look fun and colorful. And maybe some orange construction paper if you have it. Again, if you don't, white paper colored orange this is going to be used for the beak of the bird yes oh and also what's fun is the googly eyes that we have um but if you don't have those you can color you can change the eye color of your bird you know if you mm -hmm. don't have a so um make it creative like with every um craft we do we want you to be as creative as possible just have fun mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. so, so we're going to start assembling this uh bird First thing we want to do is fold the paper plate in half and keep your dome side up. So fold it to where it's kind of puffy. It's going to help him rock. Oh, and I want my bird to be purple. So I'm, I'm going to choose green. So let's color the plate. Next, we're gonna add, let's add the feathers. Okay. So I'm gonna take some white ones and some colorful yeah, ones. All white. I'm gonna add some tail feathers. I found these stick better with staples. I'm gonna staple them. I'm gonna give my tail feathers a little bit of curl. You can do that with a pencil or a marker, just curling around. Use your scissors, but be careful with that if yes. you try that. That's an old trick, but it can be dangerous. Okay, so it's starting to look like a bird. Yeah. Ooh, it's yeah. cute. Okay, and then I want to add the beak and the eyes. So I'm going to do with googly eyes. Uh, to make the beak, I just wanted to point out a real quick and easy trick. If you can cut maybe a little rectangle. Fold it in half, and then on the closed side, just kind of cut into it like um, diagonally, this way and that way. Cut a little triangle. Like, just like yeah. that, and then the beak is um, like a diamond shape then. Let's fold it. Good idea. for joining us today. I hope you enjoy it as much as we did. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Yes, we'll see you next time.